another episode of the pickup. I know you love the pickup, don't you? Yeah, um, hopefully uh, Nathan's on his way down. I think I mentioned it before over the last few days or weeks. Uh, we're going to try and what we're going to try and do is align the subframes on the jig so they're bob on and uh, perfect just to build from. Uh, never done that before, but it can't be too hard, can it? It's just measuring Look at that. Bought myself some spirit levels, tape measures, plumb lines. Oh, uh, yeah. So the aim will be it won't look too much different later. But hopefully we'll uh, make sure the two subframes are parallel with each other, correct heights compared to each other. Um, and then it'll be just a case of uh, making the shell fit, fit the subframes. And uh, yeah, um, we've also got the, uh, my Chinese dent removal tool, so I'm hoping for his car to turn up. So we might have a play with that as well while he's uh, doing all the hard work and measuring. Um, but yeah, um, thanks Pete mate as well. He's had a bit of a tidy up as well, taking some bits away, which is great as well. We both share the unit. Um, so it's very nice of him to do that. So yeah, we've got a bit more space to work around. And uh, yeah, just wait for Nathan to turn up now. Oh, the other scuttle panel arrived. Uh, person next door with their music. We love music. I'm a person without music, but anyway, that's life. So yeah, the other rear balance has turned up. And uh, yeah, crack on. Hello, hello, hello. Well, after three hours of uh, me and Nathan's time, which I didn't video any of, so I do apologize, but sometimes you just, you're in the zone, and uh, I just, you know, we were just cracking on and just doing things. Um, we ended up not even measuring anything, uh, so I did say I was gonna get around to measure stuff. What we ended up doing was just trying to fit the panels much better. Uh, we're not welding any or anything, so it's all just, yeah, don't worry about the alignment, we can still do that, but it was just a lot easier, we thought to at least get the floor to the bulkhead um, position quite well and the rear load bed onto the onto the rear heel board. We've got the rear subframe bolted up to the floor bed and the heel board so those, these two panels are connected. Um, as I said, we've got some clamps on the front now so it's actually meeting really nicely. I'll do some close up shots in a second. Um, so yeah, so basically from front to back, everything is sort of joined up and fitting well. Um, I'll show you the, the rear arches in a bit. Um, and then what we can do now is the next stage will be to try and align the subframe um, a lot better. Um, hopefully they shouldn't be too far out anyway, but we can then just tweak it all. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll then sort of weld the subframes to the, to the jig while we uh, build the rest of the car up. But yeah, pretty impressed with all the, these um, end machine panels. They're going together quite well. A few tweaks in here and there, but obviously this whole car's you know, wibbly wobbly like a jelly. Um, so I've got to try and build the strength up at the bottom here, put everything in alignment at the bottom and then work my way up. Um, obviously next thing we've got to do is then also uh, put the doors on as well. So what you end up doing now is, because uh, there's so much cut out, we've got to put so much back in, but we need to know if anything doesn't work. We've got, to, we've got to fit pretty much all the panels, we've got to fit the doors, we've got to fit the front end, um, before we even weld anything, you know. Uh, so yeah, I've ordered some proper little panel clamps, they'll be coming soon from Foss. Um, we'll show you how to use them, not that I know how to use them. For now, I've just got some real tiny sort of M1, M1 and a half inch nuts and bolts. So I'm just going to pop a few through, I think, the floors just to keep it up. I need to pop the Wilco's later and get some more clamps. Yeah, here's a close up of this scuttle area. You can just see it's just, there's no strength here. This, this part, this pillar's dropped and lifted where I've moved the car around. So that's why it's important now that we get the subframe bolted to the floor, the floor bolted to the, the bulkhead and everything. So basically we then define its position I'm going to again fit in the door, then you know we'll have to put the scuttle on as well. So all at this point, at some point, it's going to have to be all cut out, and we're going to fit the new, new scuttle. Um, but I don't want to do that until, as I said, we've got the floor supported in some way, and you know the car's solid from underneath. It's not just resting on the body. It's you know it's, it's just rest, you know it's uh, resting on the subframes with a bit of strength. But yeah, <laughs> I think that looks really worse than it is. Oh, just these. Uh, <coughs> bless me. But you can see, look, the floor fitting really well around the wheel arches. Um, so again, we're going to leave these wheel arches in just for now. We we'll get the floor, and maybe get all the rear quarters connected up and welded on later on. Then we'll do the the arches. Mostly as a separate 
stage, otherwise we cut them out now, we've really lost what we're doing. So we keep them in there for now, getting clamped up while we're, we're working on it, and then we'll order up some more arches. I think I might just go for magnum arches on those. Um, and uh, just make them work. So yeah, yeah, it's fitting quite well. Um, just got to work out these corners down here, how, you know, and they're slightly different either side, so I need to work out where that panel finishes up. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's looking good, so still a little bit high. Right. At the back here, this is got to come out. But it's getting there, that, that has got to be down there. Well, that's not too much of an issue as well. That's all, all getting there. So yeah, so again, no measuring, but we've got a lot of sort of panel alignment working on and just seeing what's what, trying to work things out. And uh, yeah, it's looking good. All right, we'll just do a little, a little bit of work. You know, I'm supposed to be heading home. Uh, just gonna, uh, yeah, there you go, look. Tiny little screws, they're, bit, they're small enough to then move, plug, weld, you know, get rid of. So, uh, yeah, we've just got a jack under here. I'm just pushing this floor up, so I just want to see if we can get like a little screw through. with this hardy sharp drill. Oh, this is painful. Blunt drill. Two seconds later it goes through. And so yeah, oh we do. Yeah, okay, it doesn't spread the load too much because it's a very small head. But get a few of these on. You know, like that, and then you take them out, you plug all them. Obviously we've still got a you know technically it allows you to then again remove, adjust. Because yeah, obviously this has got to be plug welded at some point, so we need to drill holes for the plug welds. But yeah, it just uh Lovely. Lovely. Cheap man's clamps. Move the jack out of the way, which I had under the floor, pushing it up, and that's good. Then we can put a few of those on there, try and get the tunnel fitting nice, and uh, go from there. But anyway, I think that's going to be it this time. But we're looking good. We're looking good. I do 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 no do 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 no guys. Do love a pickup video. And a roast dinner, chicken, with Nathan, because uh, he deserved it. Uh, so I will get him down here and do a tape measure one day. Uh, but yeah, looking good. Till next time, guys. Um, have a good week.